and welcome back to another review by Project Science Psycho again with you today and in this one we're gonna be going through the final part of the Guardians of the Galaxy Telltale series titled Don't Stop Believing as one of the many of my favorite songs go um, and it's probably mentioned well if nowhere else it is in the movie so um, let's just go on and focus on the game. Um, as we know, it's a classic Telltale style game with a comic book look, the decisions that impact the story, and all of your decisions that you have made through the previous four parts impact this one and how everything ends um, at the end of this. Um, there are some point and click features throughout the game which make the game a bit more fluid and more playable, um, not focusing solely on the movie parts kind of, how should you call it, movie story part of the game and your decisions uh, throughout it. So, let's just get on with the story of the final part. So, we left off of, um, with the team being disbanded um, after escaping um, from the Eternity Forge and getting swallowed by the massive rock worm. Um, so, the story of this one pretty much starts with the team being disbanded and Hala destroying a planet with millions of innocent people on it and using it to power, um, uh, well, using the power of the Eternity Forge to do so. Um, and to do this, uh, to stop her, Star Lord must pretty much get the team back together for one final battle. Um, while with Mantis, um, Mantis and Groot are kind of together in this one, and Groot voluntarily shows her the memories of their first meeting, proving to her uh, that the team can pretty much stay together despite their conflicts and um, everything that, uh, that happened between them in the final parts. Um, and with their help, well, especially Mantis's, um, Star-Lord kind of manages to get the whole, um, whole team back together and reconcile them to lead them into one final battle against Hala's ship as it pretty much attempts to destroy nowhere um, and facing the difficult consequent decisions about the consequences of his past choices. Um, when everything settles down, the Guardians return to nowhere to celebrate their victory and here's when the, well, uh, the cliffhanger pretty much happens, uh, which announces a new series um, to the tale of, to the Guardians of the Galaxy. It's pretty much going to be another part, um, because in a post credit scene of this game, a mysterious figure is seen uh, taking possession of Thanos' body. So that indicates that there's probably going to be a new, um, a new and another Telltale series continuing um, this story of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, the whole series, um, as I've read, pretty much received favorable reviews from the critics, um, earning praise for its story, voice acting, action sequences, and the portrayal, the portrayal uh, of the titular characters. Um, although the humor and everything uh, and everything else weren't um, weren't so favored, but have been criticized to. Um, mm, well, have been criticized um, on the other side as the um, as for the story and everything. So, I'm gonna recommend this game to all of you guys who enjoy the story parts of the game and your decisions making an impact on the ending and how everything unfolds. Um, it's it has a great story um, and acting. It has been um, it has received favorable reviews for a reason. It is really good, actually. Um, so, that's pretty much going to be all from my side for this one. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on the videos, and I'll be joining you guys in the next one.